Welcome to the newest and best water park here in Tirana, Albania. Charge got this key for free so we can check our bag and leave it in the locker for the rest of the day. We were feeling like we needed a break. The city of Tirana was nice and hot, but we didn't want to make the road trip to go to any beach. So we want to see if we could find a pool, and rather than find a pool, we found here. And now it's time to enjoy it. This is the artist pool. So it's basically a it's an adults only pool bar. So we're gonna have parties, I think it gets quite lively. Obviously right now there's nothing going on because it's the morning and no one's up for a pool party before noon. Actually I'm not sure if it's <laughs> yeah, I think it's just not open it's, yeah, like it's just, it's just closed today, so let's go back out. Obviously, the kids' area. Albanians aren't very much morning people, so if you want to come here and have it when it's empty, we would suggest coming in the morning. Yeah. Definitely. It's still not. Oh, it's it's busy, but it's not overly crowded. There are there are a few some lounges I can see still see free, and there's definitely some spots in this pool that are free. We came to relax for some time again to get some sun. And then it turns out the guys that are operating the rides have uh, taken a siesta, I guess. And so it looks like they're closed for until later this afternoon. 
It's going to make a big adjustment to our plans. Actually, no, it's not, not at all, because you didn't plan on going on any more slides anymore. So, nice little, nice relaxing morning, though. Nice relaxing day to come here. It's, you get the thrill of a couple slides, but it's not, it's a small park, but it is definitely worth the visit, considering it's only 1,500 leg per person. On the weekend, on the weekday is what? 1,000? 1,300 per person. It's definitely worth it, particularly if you're in Toronto during the heat and you don't want to go all the way to the beach. I'd recommend it. The food here is reasonable. They've got people coming around helping you and serving you uh, coffees and drinks and food and whatever you want. Looks like it's good fun for all the family and looks clean and safe. It's a very local place, I guess, because you know, we didn't look into many tourists to just like actually look up people and so walk. So that's, I think that's why the prices are like reasonable. Ridiculous expensive. Uh, yeah, it's great. We did see one other water park within Tirana, but it had, I think it had like 20 one star reviews within the past month about how dirty it was and just not nice and overall not well maintained and poor. This place is small, but it's clean and it's nice. The lunchtime rush in the cafe. The fast food cafe, that is. They've got how many cafes? Just two. One cafe here. One uh, like restaurant type Italian place over there. They've got a cafe or like a bar across there. Yeah, And then the night, the full bar club thing across the other side. And the different dots. Yeah, the ice cream. Two yeah, ice yeah. cream. No, two. The different dots, ice cream, and crab. So a nice little getaway if you are in Toronto and don't want to go to the beach which is exactly what we wanted and now we are done and it's like not even 3 p.m had a nice day already relaxed a little bit had a little bit of fun enjoyed it felt like we were on a proper vacation if you are in Toronto, i definitely would suggest checking that place out of course if you're on a time crunch there are beaches other things to go totally understand but it is worth a visit because we had fun let us know, would you go to a water park whilst you're in Albania? Would you bother going to this water park at all? Do you even like water parks? Because we're going to probably be reviewing them at each place we end up going to anyway. Hit the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching it. See you in the next one.